السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طلبة طالبات مساق علم الأدوية الأفاضل مشاهدين الكرام أهلا وسهلا بكم في فيديو جديد خاص بمناقشة أسئلة Multiple Choice Questions on Sulfonamides and Pharmacotherapy of Urinary Tract Infections نستعرض هذه المجموعة من الأسئلة اللي هامة وهي عبارة عن كيس ستاديز كتير بتفيد في الجوانب العملية والتطبيقية أثناء الكلينيكال نيرسينج براكتس ونبدأ بالحديث عن الفيرست كوستشنز واللي بقول an older patient is prescribed sulfisoxazole اللي هو بالتريد نيم جنتريسين knowing that one of the major adverse effects of this drug is crystalluria what should the nurse instruct the patient to do شوف مع بعض ايش الادفايس اللي ممكن يديها النيرس للبيشنت في هذه الحاله الفيرست اوبشن ليميت انتيك اوف فود هاي ان كالسيوم ساتش از ميلك شيز اند يوغورت اور سكند اوبشن avoid changing positions lying down sitting or standing rapidly third option increase fluid intake to two or three liter per day and the last option is avoid consuming alcohol beverages while taking this medication لو بنطلع على الخيارات بنجد انه افضل اجابه والاجابه اللي هي الكوركت هي اوبشن نمبر 3 Because crystal urea is the excretion of crystals in the urine, to prevent this adverse effect, patients are instructed to consume approximately two to three liters of fluid per day. Second question: The nurse understands that which of the following is the main purpose of nitrofurantoin? with trade name furadentine. The first statement or option prevent recurrent urinary tract infections. Second option relieve the pain associated with urinary tract infections. Third option promote effective urinary elimination and prevent stasis. And the last option reduce pathogenic microorganism specific to pyelonephrosis. Varieties. The correct answer is option number one because nitrofurantoin is prescribed most commonly for the prophylaxis of recurrent urinary tract infections. Now the third question say the nurse is collecting health data from patient with diabetes who has urinary tract infection before starting an order for trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, which questions asked by the nurse with the most important? Select all that apply. The first one is, have you ever had migraine headaches? Or, are you allergic to any sulfur drugs? Third option, do you empty your bladder before and after sexual intercourse? And the last option, when was your last menstrual period? The correct and fifth option is what drug do you, do you use to manage your diabetes? The best answers are option number two and number four and number five. A trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole is a sulfonamide and would be contraindicated in a patient with previous history of allergy. The drug is pregnancy category C and D in the third trimester, and the use of the drug may result in clinicterus in the new part. For people with diabetes who are taking oral sulfonurias, an increased risk of hypoglycemia is possible with trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole.
low and blood sugars so must be monitored closely in this case while options one and three are incorrect let us see the fourth question the fourth question say the nurse is providing the patient with discharge instructions concerning silver salvadiazine silvadine cream which has been ordered to treat significant skin infections, which statement by the patient indicates to the near that the, tre the teaching oxygen was effective. The first statement, I should use this cream on non-infected surface surrounding the infection to prevent additional infection, or if this medication causes stinging or burning, I should stop the drug and report that my doctor immediately as a drug allergy. The third statement of experience any nausea and if it continues for more than 24 hours, I will contact my doctor. And the fourth statement, I must avoid foods high in potassium. The correct answer is number three. Nausea and vomiting are the most common adverse effects of oral sulfonamide. Therapy but should be evaluated for possible systemic effects and for people's self-administration for the typical drug, as in this case, silver sulfadiazine. The fifth question, the patient is to receive nitrofurantine, furadentine for urinary tract infection. An asked should question the order for the patient with which condition. First option, pulmonary disease. Second option, diabetes. Third option, rheumatoid arthritis. And the last option, angina and hypertension. The best answer is number one, pulmonary disease. While nitrofurantine is associated with pulmonary toxicities such as interstitial pneumonitis and pulmonary fibrosis. So the drug should be used with extreme caution or not at all in the patient with the pre-existing pulmonary disease. The last question Say, a patient taking trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole, bacterium, or Ciptra develops a reddish, purplish, popular rash surrounding by area of erythema. The rash should be evaluate, evaluated by the provider because it may indicate which skin condition. The first one, fungal super infection. Second, viral skin eruptions and third option dermatologic toxicity including stevens johnson syndrome and finally non-adherence with the drug therapy please comment the answer and thank you very much uh, and we i will be happy to see your uh, comments thank you for watching and see you in the next video